Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for The Shield, issue one. Before I start talking about The Shield, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, episode 117, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. We got Tales of Terror, issue one. Power Cubed, issue two. The Beauty, issue three. Injustice Gods Among Us, issue 12. Shield, issue 11. Clean Room, Issue 1, Invincible, Issue 124, Black Canary, Issue 5, Batman Robin, e Eternal, Issue 3, Martian Manhunter, Issue 5, Wonder Woman, Issue 45, Star Wars Shattered Empire, Issue 4, and Superman Wonder Woman, Issue 22. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, Episode 117, which is annotated. But let's start talking about The Shield, Issue 1, which is a book I really have been looking forward to reading, but has been delayed so many months. Every single time I put it on my list, I'm like, oh, it's been delayed another month. It's been delayed another month. So it's been a lot of months since this book has been delayed. But I'm glad that Issue 1 is finally here, so we can actually read it and hopefully like it. So uh, this is a new book from Archie slash Dark Circle. So it's um, a sister company from Archie, but it's kind of Archie, but it's Dark Circle. They're together. So, uh, yeah, so it's a new title, and it's based on a really old uh, comic book, uh, The Shield, which was actually a male character, and they, they kind of modernized it, which Archie's been doing for the past year with a lot of their properties, and uh, made the character female. So I was really curious to see what this was all about, and uh, I, I like history. I like books that kind of, uh, kind of delve into history, so uh, I was really excited to see what they would do with this book. Uh, but yeah, love the cover, really like the artwork um, for the cover, and let's start start talking about the artwork, um, interior artwork, which uh, I was really impressed with. I, I thought it was well done, I really liked how they showcased, uh, I won't say her powers, but more of her enhanced strength. Uh, we get to see her like crawling up the wall like Spider-Man, but using her strength to do so, so I thought that was really cool. But yeah, the artwork is really solid. Um, I enjoyed it. I really like pages like this to show her past. Um, like the different clothing also they used to show the, the different um, eras that she lived through. Uh, so overall, I thought the artwork was very solid. Um, also something I want to talk about with the interiors is I was really surprised how big the font was. So I just want to talk about the lettering. Um, and I kind of liked it. I thought it worked for the book, but I was just like relatively surprised. Like, oh wow, this font is actually really big. And it made the book a bit quicker to read. Uh, so that's something I just noticed. I don't know why they made the font bigger, but they decided to do so. And I thought it worked for the book. Uh, but let's start talking about the actual story. Uh, so with this issue, we get to see um, this girl has n really no idea about anything uh, from her past. Uh, she's pretty much a Jane Doe. Uh, she destroyed a couple of things in town and she ended up going at least to the precinct. Uh, precinct. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and uh, this woman kind of notices that she's different and she says, all right, I'm gonna try helping you. You punch me in the nose. And she's like, what? And it's like, you have to run away. You're special. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she punches her in the nose and, and she starts to remember things that she shouldn't be remembering. She's like, oh, I think I had a past. Uh, and now, throughout the issue, she kind of discovers more about her abilities, more about her past, and she realizes she has to meet this woman that was in the police um, area. And she does meet the woman, doesn't really trust the woman, but once she gets in there, she starts remembering her past and that she has lived many lives. And uh, I guess we'll learn more about that in... Uh, in the next issue, but I thought this is a really solid beginning uh, for The Shield. Like I said, I thought it was a really interesting concept to have this character who's been, th throughout American history, been been a hero, and uh, I'm curious to see how they're going to play that, how it's going to tie into present day, and how she's going to save America in present day. I'm really curious. Um, but yeah, I thought it introduced the character really well. Um, 
and I thought it was a really solid issue. I was pretty impressed. It, it definitely grabbed me enough to get the next issue, and I liked the issue. I had a fun time reading it, and I really liked this character and the mystery b behind her. Now, I was actually really surprised they uh, revealed that she knew her memories right after the first issue. I thought it would last a little longer, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's good that we're not um, taking, like, ten issues for her to remember who she is. Uh, and hopefully we'll be learning with her um, more about her past, and we'll see how that intertwines with the present. But yeah, the Shield issue one for me gets four stars. I thought it was a really solid issue, and I'll definitely be picking up more issues of the Shield. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.